Morning, welcome to Ken Master Moment 27. Ken Master Moment 27. Oops. Okay, so uh, today we spent a lot of time actually just doing just a straight out practice of multiplying polynomials, right? So we didn't really talk about anything new today, just multiplied like a bunch of polynomials. Yep. Most fun day you've ever had, right? Mm. Mm. So uh, today, well, for our movie, we'll do a theory question. Suppose that 2x minus 1 times f of x, and, and f of x is supposed to be a polynomial, okay? 2x minus 1 times f of x is 6x to the 5th minus 3x to the 4th plus 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 3. Whoa. Mm. What is the degree of f of x? Okay, first of all, do you understand the question? Yeah. What does degree mean for a polynomial? It means the highest, the highest power in the polynomial. So this this polynomial's degree would be five. Okay. What's this polynomial's degree? One. Okay. Very good. All right. So how would you figure out what the degree of the polynomial f of x was? Well, it has to have a, an x to the fourth in it. Why? Because you have. Because it doesn't have anything, this polynomial doesn't have anything higher than 1, uh -huh. and there's an x to the fifth in here. Okay. So, but that's the highest you can get, because if you have an x to the fifth, then there would, in this one, <coughs> there would be an x to the sixth. Ah. In this, but there isn't, so the okay. degree has to be 4. Alright, the degree has to be 4. Very good. And very good reasoning, too. Alright, now, this one. What is the leading coefficient of f of x? Do you remember what leading coefficient means? It means it's just this. What's that? No, right. What what is that? What does that mean? It's no. the coefficient on the leading on the leading term. It's the coefficient of the highest power. Yeah. This. Okay. So the leading coefficient of this polynomial is? Six. The leading coefficient of this one is? Two. Two. Okay. So what is the leading coefficient of f of x? I would think it would be three. Because they give three x to the fourth. Because you need to multiply this times this to get this stuff. And you already have a two here. Okay. You're going to need a three to get to a six. All right. Now, okay, very good. Very good. Very good answer. So this was, the degree was four, and the leading coefficient was three. So we know there's a three x to the fourth in f of x. Now here's a more challenging question. There's there's one other term in f of x that we can know very quickly. This? Why? Because you have you have the constant in here too. Okay. So you're gonna need a three to get to minus three. You need minus one times three to get to minus three. Okay. So the way you get the highest power in the product is you take the highest power here, the term with the highest power times the term with the highest power. The way you get a constant term when you multiply polynomials is the constant term times the constant term. So we know that f of x is 3x to the fourth plus something plus something plus something plus 3. But it, right know. now it's a little bit harder to know what's in the middle because the x to the fourth term comes from a mixture of the constant times this x to the fourth and this times an x cubed. Yeah. So it's a little tricky, little tricky to figure out. Not impossible. But hard. But a little harder. Oh, this, is, this is very good work. Very good work this morning. Good job.